An alleged drunk driver accused of killing two people behind bars tonight. 24 year old Caitlin Apernathy from Gastonia facing a long list of charges, including DWI and two counts of death by motor vehicle. Police say she is accused of hitting and killing 61 year old Charles Love and 31 year old Ketota Cook early Sunday morning. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris joins us now with the details surrounding this crash. This is the area where police say that crash happened. You can still see the spray paint and tire marks on the ground. The woman police say is responsible now facing the consequences. A busy Gastonia street now remembered as the place two families lost loved ones. It hurt families. These people got people that love them to death. Police say 61 year old Charles Love and 31 year old Kitata Cook were walking on the sidewalk along the 400 block of East Long Avenue around 2.30 Sunday morning when a car ran off the roadway hitting and killing both of them. Prosecutors say the suspect stopped her car, got out, looked at the two people and drove off from the scene. I started crying and was trying to con compose myself because that was hard to hear in the fact that, you know, the the charge is public that she left the scene. Like, where, where's the remorse? Police located 24 year old Caitlin Abernathy at her home a short time later. Abernathy now charged with two counts death by motor vehicle, felony hit and run, DWI, and more. There are Ubers, there are Lyfts. You can call somebody, come pick you up. You're drinking, you're driving. Like, she don't care enough about herself. But yeah, that, that, that is what hurt. Family members say Love and Cook were friends. The families of both attended Abernathy's first court appearance, mourning the loss of life. She was a beautiful, intelligent, bright young lady. His last name stands for amazing love because he loved everybody. He gets along with everybody. The family's now hoping for justice after what happened along this street. A memorial of balloons and flowers now marks the site of the crash. Abernathy's bond was originally set for $250,000, but a judge raised that to $1 million today. Reporting in Gastonia, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte.